What's up aviators, today we're running through different classes of airspace. If you want more free pilot training, hit that subscribe button to fly in my wing, and check out the pilot test prep materials in the description if you want to get serious about your training. Let's hit it. Class A airspace is typically not shown on a chart. It starts at 18,000 feet and goes up to flight level 600. It also includes the airspace overlying the waters within 12 nautical miles of the coast of the 48 contiguous states and Alaska. You must be on an IFR flight plan to be flying in Class A airspace. Class B airspace is depicted on the charts by a blue solid line. It starts at the surface and goes up to 10,000 feet MSL and usually surrounds the busiest airports. Class B airspace is tailored to the specific airport and you need an ATC clearance to enter the airspace. You must here, your call sign, followed by clear to enter the Bravo. Class B airspace is typically surrounded by a mode C veil out to 30 nautical miles. Class C airspace is depicted by solid magenta circles. It starts at the surface and goes up to 4,000 feet above the airport elevation. It goes out to a radius of 10 nautical miles. To operate in Class C airspace, you need a transponder and two-way radio communications. Unlike Class B airspace, you only need to hear ATC acknowledge your call sign to enter the Class Charlie airspace. Class D airspace is depicted by dashed blue circles. It goes from the surface up to 2,500 feet above the airport, and you need two-way radio communications to enter the Class Delta. Class Echo airspace is anything not classified as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, or Delta airspace. There are several ways Class Echo airspace can be depicted on a sectional chart. If you see a dashed magenta circle, that indicates that it's class echo from the surface up to the next category of airspace. Otherwise, class echo airspace starts at 1200 feet AGL. Within these magenta vignettes, class echo airspace starts at 700 feet AGL and goes up to 18,000 feet. And then again, it starts above flight level 600. Otherwise, class echo airspace starts at 14,500 feet MSL. Class G, Gulf airspace, is uncontrolled airspace. Class G airspace is anything not classified as Alpha through Echo airspace. It starts at the surface and goes up to the next overlying airspace. Check out the links in the description for more tools to help you earn your next rating. If you want more free training, hit that subscribe button to fly in my wing. Thanks for watching. See ya!